In this video, you're gonna learn how to set up a Facebook lead ad campaign for your small business so you can turn some of those strangers into paying customers. If this is your first time here, my name is Armando and I work with local businesses, helping them create a lead generation strategy so they can bring in more customers and make more sales. And if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of the other content. Okay, now we're gonna get into running this Facebook ad. So for the example that I'm gonna be using in this tutorial is a power washing company. I'm gonna be offering power washing services and I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of setting up a campaign uh, for this type of service. Now, we are in the back end of, of Ads Manager right here. This is Ads Manager. This is where all the Facebook ads have to be ran for your business. If you don't have that set up, there's a link in the description that walks you through and links you through the Facebook's uh, Business Manager uh, section where you can just create an account and then uh, enter all your billing information and go from there. So now that we are here, the very first thing that we have to think about before we even click this Create button is kind of like, what exactly is it that we've got for sale? What is the thing that people want? So I want you to think about what people want but also what do they not want to do to get that so in my example I'm using a power washing company and we're gonna be offering let's say 50% off power washing for a limited time um, for a specific area so now that we've got that out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and click create uh, campaign here this green button on the far left hand side now you're gonna be shown a pop-up window that has a bunch of objective uh, campaign um, objectives and considerations the one that we're going to be tackling right now and the one that you're going to be using is lead generation the lead generation objective and you're going to click continue once you do that Facebook is going to create the campaign structure for you so at the very top you're going to have campaign and then an ad set level and then an ad so think of this as a filing cabinet the campaign is like a giant filing cabinet and inside that filing cabinet you can have folders that's kind of like what the ad set is and inside each folder you get to have your kids homework your writing whatever you choose to put in that folder maybe artwork and that's where the creative is going to go for the ad so we're going to walk all the way from the top and go through the bottom so for campaign objective for the campaign here all we want to do is change the name name it something that makes sense to you for me i'm going to say 50 off um, power washing the actual name doesn't really matter it just has to make sense to you um, under special categories here um, you're going to leave this blank unless you're in an industry where you have to declare a special category and that is credit card processing, employment, uh, real estate, housing, sales of cars, political ads, that kind of stuff. But since we're small business owners, local business owners, we're not gonna deal with any of that stuff. You wanna leave it blank. The next thing that you wanna come down here is you wanna turn off campaign budget optimization. Make sure that it, it's off. It's not on, I mean, I'm sorry. Make sure that that thing is off. The next thing that you're gonna do is click on the ad set and we're going to go ahead and give this ad set a name again usually at the ad set level i like to kind of be a little bit more descriptive with the name like like uh, location of where i'm running the ad uh and maybe a few other things so i'm just going to say houston and i'm going to say feeds here okay now under lead method obviously we want instant forms i know that you see calls over here but very rarely do i see calls converting uh, as well in my experience through all my clients that i deal with the instant forms provide the best results for them now under page if you have multiple pages for your business just highlight this drop down the arrow and pick the one that you want in this case i'm just going to use mine now below this there's a warning or there's a there's a bubble that says view terms of service if this is your first time running lead ads this is not going to say view this is going to say accept terms of services you just have to click it and accept it and then come back to the screen okay now let's talk about budget it can get very complicated for budget but your budget is your budget basically if you have a hundred bucks a month to spend spend a hundred bucks if you have 200 300 spend that right now the way to calculate budget is to really look at the lifetime value of your customer times what it actually costs you to get a lead versus your conversions how many leads do you have to speak to to close a deal and then your profit and then what you want to do from there is work backwards to determine the actual cost that you want based on the amount of business that you want to gain but initially keep things simple your budget is your budget whatever your budget is put it in here so for our tutorial i'm just going to type in 10 bucks a day and leave it alone 
okay the next thing that you want to do is go down to the audience section this is where we're going to define where our audience is and this is a lot different than like a boosted post which i see a lot of small business owners do is that they boost the post and it just goes all willy-nilly everywhere and they have no clue on who's doing what who's watching it or whatever we're going to define where you want your ads to to go to now if you are in a service industry like you know what we're, what we're describing right now and let's say my service is in Houston I'm just gonna type in the name of the city that I want to target in here and then just type in Houston you can also do zip codes you can also do uh, oftentimes subdivisions uh, you can just do the city itself instead of a radius whichever one uh, you wanna you wanna pick uh, you can plug it in here um, one thing to be mindful with this is just make sure that uh, you use a little bit of logic here. So for the ages, the age section, I know that 18 year olds are probably not going to be buying power washing services from me. So I'm going to be looking for maybe 29 upwards of 65. Male and females, I'm just going to leave that blank and I'm not going to be checking off any detail targeting just yet. Um, now, for those of you who do want to get more advanced into this, I do have a mini workshop, uh, locallymastery.com. There's a link in the description where I break this process down and I go really deep into each one of these sections to help you really understand and hone in on your target market, hone in on your offers and your creative and all that other stuff. So I'm just putting it out there if that's something that you guys are interested in. Okay, detail targeting, you're gonna leave alone. You're not gonna mess with this at all. That's gonna throw off your campaigns. And then you're gonna come down to placement. Now, automatic placement seems to be like what everyone likes. I typically don't like this. I like to buy traffic that is high quality and high quality traffic right now is coming from your mobile devices. So what I'll do is I'll click manual placements and I will go click on edit devices and I will uncheck desktop and just make sure mobile is there. Um, I will also uncheck Instagram. I'm also going to uncheck audience network. Instagram should be a completely separate ad, not to mix them with your Facebook objective so that you can then change and adjust what is working and what isn't working. Then you're gonna go down to placement in here and I'm just gonna uncheck marketplace. All I want is Facebook newsfeed. I'm gonna uncheck stories and uncheck everything else that's also in here, unless it's a placement that you want, in which case, leave it, totally up to you. But this is how I run my ads for myself and for my clients. This is gonna give us an audience of about 1.9 million people, which is plenty for that budget. We'll never be able to saturate that market with a $10 a day ad. So next thing we want to come down here is where it says optimization and delivery. I typically leave this blank. I want to get as many leads as I possibly can, and I'm not trying to cap anything off at this point. The next step is to actually click on new ad. Once you click on new ad, we're going to follow the same pattern that we did before. We're going to go ahead and give it a name. What I recommend you name this is the type of creative that you're using. So if you're using an image of, let's say, power washing, type in image one, image two, image of somebody scrubbing or whatever. If you're using a video, type in video, whatever you want. So for me, it's gonna be video uh, number one. I'm just gonna call it that. And I'm just gonna make sure that the identity of my page is selected and I don't have anything tied to Instagram because I'm not gonna advertise on Instagram. Next thing that I wanna do is come down here to ad setup. So this is where we can either create an ad or use one from a, a mockup. I'm just gonna go ahead and say create an ad and I'm gonna pick single image or video. There is a way for you to create a carousel image ad for multiple services, but that's for another video. Uh, stay tuned for that one. So what you're gonna do here now is make sure that you select single image and you come down here to the creative section. I'm gonna clear everything and I'm gonna highlight media and I'm gonna choose add video. Now from here, you're in the Facebook's media library. You can select any video that you've already uploaded as ads, or you can actually pick something from your page that you've got at, posted as a video, or you can actually upload a video here. I'm actually gonna choose to upload a brand new video for this training, and I'm just gonna pick it from my computer and just click open. Once the video is uploaded and selected, you're gonna see it here on the right-hand side, preview, and click play and see what it's gonna do. Just a little quick note on the creative type. The things that I have noticed work the best are gonna be micro video or mini videos. These are small video segments of an actual human explaining to other people like what their services are, walking around with a cell phone, telling people that they're doing work and then explaining the process 
or something like this where you're actually demonstrating what the before and after is going to look like. Um, I personally like to use a lot of direct response type of colors in my ads for my clients. That includes the yellows, the blacks, the reds, um, the bright oranges, those kind of things I feel draw more attention and they work really well for us. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to type in our primary text in here, which includes our offer, our headline, and then we're going to be building our lead generation capture form. Okay, so this is the copy that I came up with um, for the power washing offer. It's calling out the city or the service area that we want to run our services on. And I'm just going to tell people what they want without the thing that they really hate. Like everybody wants their house looking good. Everybody wants the house to be spick and span. Maybe they want to get the HOA off their back, but what they don't want to do is actually do the work because power washing in this case, it's not something that's very simple to do. You can actually mess up the paint of your house. You can mess up your driveway. You can mess up a lot of things if you don't know what you're doing. And a lot of people may not have power washing equipment at home, which means that they have to now go out of their way to rent it. So for the copy, I just said, uh, get your house summer ready. Um, we're running a pre-summer sale, 50% off, say 400 for the next 50 people for power washing services. And then here's what here's how it works and here's what you need to do. Basically, um, get a free estimate, pick your date, and then let us handle all the work um, and all the trouble ourselves. Now, in my mini workshop, I do go deep into copywriting and creating offers that actually convert. Uh, so if you wanna snag that again, it's locallymastery.com and there's a link in the description. Now it's time to write the headline. Now for the headline, I like to use something like an open loop. I usually say something like limited time power washing or just say 50% off power washing or something like that that's going to make people stop and read that and say, oh, I may want to click on this and be interested in some of that stuff. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to use limited time deal on power washing. I'm going to leave everything else alone and then I'm going to go to the call to action. Now, you want your call to action to match whatever you're saying in your copy. So in this case, I told them to click and get quote and we want to drop this this button down and make sure that we have that that uh, that call to action as an offer here. And I'm just going to say click quote. Now, before we move any further, we're going to go ahead and preview this. We're going to expand it and make sure that we are OK with everything that it shows here. I'm going to expand my copy. It's gonna look like this. Hey, Houstonian, get your home summer ready. We're running a pre-sale. This is what it's gonna cost. Here's how it works. And then what you need to do to actually get it. I'm not really sure why the call, the headline isn't showing up here. Sometimes it doesn't show up on the previews, but I guarantee you that it's there and it will show up whenever you run your ad. So right now this looks good so far and we're gonna move on to the final step of actually creating the form that people are gonna to use to fill out uh, their information and become a lead. So in order to do this, we're gonna come down to the instant form section and we're gonna click create form. Now, um, it's, it's important to note that this is one of the reasons why this type of ad performs really well almost across the board. And it doesn't matter if you're selling courses, it doesn't matter if you're filling webinars, it doesn't matter if you're a lawyer, if you're a painter, if you're into power washing, real estate agent, this works because it removes all this complicated stuff from having to build funnels and fancy websites and all these different things and keeps people on their phone, which is a great experience for them. And it keeps them on the platform, which is what Facebook wants. Enough about that. Now let's get to building the very first thing that you want to do is you want to give this a name now the name doesn't actually matter just make sure that it makes sense to you and you're gonna type in you know power washing now there's two types of forms here higher intent and more volume higher intent means higher quality people according to Facebook and more volume means more throughput I typically go with more volume because we can put some things in there that will give us higher intent now again I know I keep saying this, but if you guys want to dive deeper into this, I have a section in my local Facebook ads workshop that goes into detail of how to maximize and get two or three times the value, the engagement and the leads re-optimizing this, this contact form. Very, first, very next thing that we're going to do is go to the intro. And this is this section here, uh, right here, and we get to choose to upload our own image or we can use one from the ad, okay? You can use them from the ad, and basically this image right here will populate with like a, a screenshot of this video or whatever you're using. But if you choose to upload one, you can just click upload and pick one from your computer there um, so that it shows in here, okay? I typically use 
the one from the ad it makes things a lot easier and I don't find the need to create a separate one the next thing that you have to do is actually create this greeting or type something in this description here make sure that what you're typing in here is congruent and it matches with your ads now in this paragraph section I'm typically just using some of the same copy that's in my ad and plugging it in here next thing that we want to do is the contact form here and it, this is really up to you whatever information that you need to to have these people become a lead you want to enter so most times we're doing name and email and we are actually doing phone number the cool thing about this is that this actually pulls from Facebook um, so the information that they have in Facebook pre populates in here okay so I typically write this down maybe you want to date maybe you want to ask for square footage that kind of stuff whatever is is, is something that you you need just make sure you add it in here uh, you can even add a custom question if you choose to next option is privacy this is required by Facebook to run these ads basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a link from your private privacy page on your website and you're gonna plug it right in there and then you're gonna just type in privacy or private policy there that's enough to satisfy Facebook now this page must not be hidden it must be live on your website for this to be compliant last but not least we're gonna go to the final thank you page now this is where a lot of people get it wrong they finally just say thank you you're all set you can visit our website from now on blah 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 but if you're smart you want to maximize this you can say something like almost there or almost done or one final step one final step okay and then here's where you can say you know book your appointment below this does a few things this this prevents you from having to chase every single lead because there's going to be a percentage of people that come here and they're going to click that blue button and call you right away okay you're going to pick it up and then you don't have to worry about those and the ones that you don't get a call from you can follow up now it doesn't always have to be a call you can have people go to a calendar link to schedule you can have people go to a form on your website wherever you want a lot of my clients have calendly set up and they make people click this button and book a time on a calendar slot so that they know that they're in there as well okay so uh, call to action we're going to say call this business and this is where the business phone number and will be entered now once you've done this this is what the form is actually going to look like on a mobile device they're going to come to the screen when they click this get quote button they'll see this splash page here explain to them a little bit more about what this is they'll click next and then they'll go to this screen where they'll enter all their information and then once they enter that they'll submit it then they'll be directed to this page where they have the one final step left which is to call you to actually reserve that spot or to go to your booking calendar once you do this you just you're just going to click on publish live publish this and this will go for review to facebook and once they review it and they make sure that you're not breaking any terms of services you're not making any bold promises etc then this ad will go live and usually usually we start to see results within a week for some of our clients uh, sometimes within a day uh, of this ad going live now there is one final step that happens after all this is that your back end needs to be strong I recommend that you at the very least contact these leads that come through your form within 15 minutes of them coming in so that you have a higher chance of converting and closing um, these leads. The other thing that I recommend is for you to add some sort of automation. There is an application called Zapier that we use for all of our clients that we connect these forms to and it powers up an email address to the lead, a text message to the lead, a text message to the client, and it puts everything into a database where we follow up with them automatically via text message, via email, and, S you know, and with the client as well. That increases conversions by about 20 to 30% on these leads coming in. I do have another video uh, somewhere on this channel that connects Zapier to this form that walks you through how to do all that. Uh, so, but if you're interested in diving deeper into this subject, uh, I have a, again, the local lead at mastery workshop walks you through all this. It's a no fluff workshop. That's 90 minutes long. And within 90 minutes, you'll be set up with great offers from beginning to end. Uh, and if you just don't want to deal with this kind of stuff and you just want somebody to do it for you, I offer the same consulting services for somebody and on a done for you basis. There's a link in the description for that as well. If this video was useful, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.